Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is V. I do all sorts of nail related videos. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section and I will try my best to respond to all of y'all. For today's video, we are going to be doing my crusty toes. I like to do my toes on camera because I feel like a lot of people do not show this, but it can be very educational, but also I get to do my toes. So here we are. Finally removing my summer toenail. I am very basic. I did do a milky white. I think I actually added a little bit of pink into them. And we're just going to be starting fresh doing a very fall trendy toenail design. I am going to start off by pretty much trimming my toenails. I try to do this every so often as they are growing out. But it's been a minute. So here we are. I'm just using my e file at a speed of probably 8,000 RPMs. And I am using a carbide bit with that. This one is a five in one bit from Not Polish. And I'm pretty much just gonna be trimming them a little longer than what I want the final result to be. That way I still have a little bit of wiggle room when I am hand filing them. Then immediately after that, we are gonna start debulking these. I'm actually gonna be starting from scratch. So we are gonna be changing the color, which means I'm gonna fully remove this white and any other product that I have on my toenails currently. So I still have my e-file, probably pushed it up to 11,000 RPMs throughout this process because I realized I was doing it a little bit too slow. Same carbide bit, the five in one bit from Not Polish, and we're just gonna go in as best as possible. I try to kind of maneuver my hand in a way that's a little bit more comfortable for me as well. So you'll see me kind of moving back and forth to do so. But the whole goal is to fully remove this product. You can always soak them off as well. This is a BB gel from profiles backstage which is soak offable but i hate that process i feel like it sometimes just takes a little bit longer and for me e-filing it just can be a little bit quicker and a little bit more satisfying so we're just gonna keep with that process but do note that you can definitely soak them off if you prefer to do so <laughs> Throughout this process, be sure to be very mindful when you are filing. You do not want to file your natural nail. So as soon as you see a little bit of pink come through, you got to stop, move to another side where you can actually file off the rest of the product. I will be leaving a little bit of the color on there just because I do not want to risk damaging my natural nail. And then I will fully file that off with my mandrel bit and sanding band. That usually does a trick. And you guys will be able to see all that process on camera. Solo esta. El río fluye, nunca solo está, no solo está. Mm. A veces tranquilo, a veces rugiendo va, rugiendo va. Cuando la I'm a little bit more comfortable filing more on my big toe just because the surface is bigger so i'm going to be taking my hand file and actually try to debulk the rest of that product that is on there i have a little bit of pink left from the previous toenail design that i had on my toes which is insane because that was months and months and months ago so it goes to show how long colors can stay under there if you are not fully removing the product and starting from scratch now I am going in with my mandrel bit and sanding band. I have moved that down to about 3000 RPM since I am using the not polish e file and that thing is potent. I'm going to be carefully just removing the rest of that product but also buffing the shine off of my natural toenail so that I can get all the products to fully adhere. And that is pretty much what my natural toenails look like. I haven't seen this site in a very long time which is really weird because I have 
this low-key phobia of naked toenails <laughs> it's really weird but if you also feel the same let me know i mentioned it to one of my coworkers, and she started laughing but it was something that i discovered early on in life and for whatever reason i have i just can't i just cannot do unpolished toenails so you will never catch me with unpolished toenails fun fact if you have been following me for a while now you know but I'm going to go ahead and just fully remove that extra product and again sh uh, remove that shine off of my natural toenail but I'm going to go in and at this point also kind of push back my cuticles you can use a cuticle pusher but I like to use my mandrel bit it just makes it all easier in one motion I kind of just buff off the shine while also pushing it back and that's going to expose a little bit more of that natural toenail and also remove some of that dead skin from around that cuticle area do this very very carefully very very slow and take your time with it so that you do not harm your toenails any type of inflicted pain on your toes is not fun so definitely always be extra careful i am going to be taking this diamond bit it is from profiles backstage and i'm going to go around that cuticle area to fully remove that dead skin and kind of clean it up a little bit more i'm also going on the sidewalls of my nail as well again to remove that dead skin and also kind of buff off some of that dead skin from around my toes Next, I'm taking a cuticle ball bit. You can always trim off the excess cuticle skin, but since it is on my toes, it is really hard to get really up close, especially on this foot. On the other one, I can definitely bend my leg pretty much up to my face. For whatever reason, my right leg does not do that. And since I'm right-handed, it's just a little bit easier to do this. So we're just gonna go in with a safer route, with which is the cuticle ball bit. This is just gonna fully buff off that excess dead skin without having to cut or nip anything off. Otherwise, I would totally try to nip off all that nastiness. Now, here we are. We're just gonna go in with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. We're gonna fully dehydrate those nails. You can always go in with primer, but me personally, I never use primer. I feel like the BB gel sticks on there perfectly fine without any type of other prep. But if you have issues, definitely, definitely add a dehydrator and a primer. I'm just going to go in straight with my colors. So I am using two different BB gels and a little bit of clear BB gel. So technically three. And I'm going to be mixing them just to kind of dilute the color and get a color more of my liking. I couldn't find the one that's a little bit more nude, which is the one that I prefer. So we're just going to go in with this. It's going to be a little bit more of a translucent pink. And I'm going to go in with two layers on all of my toenails. So I'm going to try to get a good even layer on my first one. You see me kind of give it a few wipes. Then I'm gonna go in and cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds. I am doing one by one because adding in that clear BB gel made it a little bit too runny. Otherwise, you can pretty much do all of your toenails and it won't. For whatever reason, the BB gel in clear is way more runny than all the other ones. So do note that. Now I'm going in with my second layer. I'm just going to go in until I kind of have like an even coat of it throughout the entire toenail. And then again, we're going to fully cure. And then I'm going to do the rest of my toes the same process. I'm pretty much just wiping it like I would a regular nail polish or a gel polish. You can always build it up a little bit thicker. But I've noticed if you leave it more thicker on your toenail, it does hurt when you are wearing closed toed shoes. And now that it's going into fall time, I want to make sure that they are super, super thin. So very very thin coats on my toes
Now, I did get a little too excited and I forgot to record the second coat on the rest of my toes, but you get the point. I'm pretty much just applying it on there the same. Next, you're going to have to wipe off that tacky layer from the gel. Otherwise, when you go into file, it's going to get super sticky and super annoying. So make sure you get a lymphy wipe, a little bit of alcohol or young nail swipe and fully remove that tacky layer. And then I'm actually going to be going in with a hand file where it's going to be filing. You can actually file this product on the surface if you need to as well. You kind of see me doing it here. But I don't want to debulk them a lot. And in order to avoid that, I'm just going to go in and very lightly file the tip of it. Leave the thickness that I have on my actual toenail. And if you need to blend in the cuticle area part, definitely do so using a 5-in-1 bit or a mandrel bit. But I'm just going to leave them as is. I'm going to fully remove that dust again with a lymph-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. And now we're going to get into some nail art. Now I did decide super last minute to add this pink color on top just to make it a little bit more brighter. I feel like it was just a little too on the white side for my liking. And I feel like this one goes a little bit better with my skin tone. So I'm just adding a super thin light coat of that. And then we're going to fully cure it in the light. This one is from Chan Legend. I'll leave the name on the screen for y'all. I don't remember it from the top of my head. So fully cure for a full 60 seconds. Now for this nail design, I am taking someone else's design and recreating it on my toes. I thought this would be kind of fun to take some trendy, cute designs that I love and I want to try, but to do them on my toes. So if y'all have any requests, definitely shoot them in my Instagram inbox and I will definitely try to recreate them. I love doing super cute designs on my toes. So definitely, definitely let me know. Now for our base, we're going to be doing the like turtle shell, whatever it's called, design on my pinky toe. So we're going to be taking a jelly polish from Profiles Backstage. You see me wiping it quite a lot because these are very runny. So I want to make sure that I get a super, super thin coat and I want it very, very translucent. Then I'm going to be taking a darker colored one. And I'm going to be doing little splotches on there while it is still wet. So it kind of blooms, but not a crazy amount because it isn't blooming gel. But I'm just going to kind of splotch it on there as best as possible. And then immediately after, I'm taking another darker one as well and put it on top. You want to cure that in the light fully for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to actually go in with a yellow one just because I thought it was getting a little bit too dark for my liking, but I still want to blend all those colors together. So I'm going in with a yellow jelly polish and still while it's wet, I'm now taking a very dark brown or black and placing it right on top of those same little splotches that I did. Cure it in the light and now you get your beautiful shell design. I think it's super, super cute, super easy to do and extremely trending right now. So if you've ever wanted to test it out, definitely do so now. I'm sure you guys are going to get requested this a ton by clients or even if you want to try it yourself. Now for our big toe, we're going to be doing the French design that was included in the design. I just thought it would be really cute to put on my toe or my big toe. So we're going to go in with white Vita Bella gel paint. And I'm actually going to be taking the short liner from Vita Bella as well. And I'm going to be doing my Frenchy smile line. You can do it as thick as you want, as thin as you want, as curved, as almond, whatever you prefer. We're going to cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds. And then I'm actually going to be taking this clear 3D gel from Profiles Backstage. And I'm taking a 3D brush that's a little bit thinner. And we're going to go in and do like this kind of messed up circle on this toe. And then I forgot to show it on my other one as well, but I'm actually going to be doing just some random little splotch on my second toe. Here I am taking a little toothpick from Profiles Backstage. They have like the cotton tip and I grabbed a little bit of gold pigment and now we're going to rub it in there to give that gold design. Absolutely love how these are turning out. So now you see on that second toe, I did like a little splotch. And I'm going to be rubbing on that gold chrome as well, which I believe is also from Profiles Backstage. I figured this process would just be a little bit cleaner if I use this toothpick, but you can also use your finger and make a sponge or whatever you prefer. Now I actually decided to add the turtle shell design on my last little toenail. So... We're pretty much going to do the same process. I'm using that darker yellowish color 
and then making it very, very thin. As soon as I like it in the thin layer that I have, we're going to go in with that second darker color, splotch it on there. You see me kind of just throwing it on there, no specific design, and then go in with a darker one as well. Cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds and repeat using this time the yellow one and then same process. Now for our little cherries, I probably could have done these a little bit bigger, but I was scared that they're going to be bothering me inside of my shoes as well. So I decided to do them just super tiny. I'm using that same clear 3D gel and we're just going to kind of bounce it in a little circle until you get the size that you like. Fully cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds before you go in with this step. I now am painting it using a red jelly polish, also from Profiles Backstage. And I'm just going to carefully paint around that little circle, cure it in the light. And I'm actually doing two coats of this to make it a little bit deeper red. Same 3D gel. We're going to go in with the little stems and the little leaf. This time I'm using the Vita Bella short liner for that to get a little bit more precise lines. It can be a little bit tricky to see this, but as long as you're being careful, you should be good to go. Fully cure that and then we're going to be taking the gold pigment again and rubbing it in there to kind of tie everything together. And then we're going to go in with a top coat of your choice. Highly recommend a stain resistant one. I couldn't find mine, so we're just going to use gloss it from that polish. But on your toenails, for whatever reason, they get super dingy, super crusty very quickly. So we want to make sure we avoid that and protect our design at all costs using a stain resistant top coat. I love the Young Nails one, um, so I'll definitely leave that linked for y'all if you guys are interested in purchasing that. I'm going to go in with a thin layer around the 3D. Definitely be extra careful and make sure that you are not applying too much so that it doesn't kind of run everywhere. And then you're going to fully cure that in the light for a full 60 seconds. But that pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.